Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new player moments, Diego Carlos to review. Uh, this card gives you some really good links to work with because of the Premier League Brazilian links. So some very nice stuff there. If you still have the uh, Fabinho card, which honestly still holds up really well nowadays, that's going to be a really nice link to work with with the Brazilian players. If you don't have like the Liverpool guys, right? But with Diego Carlos, him being six foot one, medium high, right footed, three star, four star is very nice. 91 pace, probably going to have to give him a shadow. Okay, this card's sick then. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good card. Give him a shadow because pace is going to be at a 97, 95 if I give him an engine, right? Which you could give. You could give. Because here's the thing, right? I'm gonna, I'm, let me explain something to you guys. If you guys play this default park the bus stuff, then yeah, you're probably going to use them on an engine chemistry style. But I like to be a little bit open. I like to be playing regular, feel like I'm actually playing the game kind of thing, right? So giving him a shadow chemistry style for me is going to be the ideal situation because uh, I actually need to have the pace. And I think his dribbling stats, to be honest, is already in a pretty good area for him to defend well enough in game, right? So making him essentially perfect at defense, having the perfect pace is going to be super ideal. Uh, shot power at an 89 with player traits being long passer, solid player traits. Okay, so passing on the card is going to be in a good area. Dribbling we'll be experimenting with because he's six foot one with a high and stocky body type. Uh, and then for physical stats, that part of the card is already in the perfect or close to perfect area. So you don't have to improve that area of the card. But it's formatted in a way where, yes, you could give him the engine chemistry style because you're going to have really good dribbling boost, right? Uh, but the pace being at a 97, 95, like I said, I think it's going to be more important to give him that shadow. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the card and I'll show you guys how we try him out in game. Look, this is a link you could work with too, the Varane link with uh, Diego Carlos because of that uh, green stuff. Allison is the goalkeeper. Allison, uh, he's okay to use. The goalkeepers are all going to be weird at the end of the day, right? It's just about animation choices at that point. But yeah, uh, this team. Hey, Gyu, this is a nice team. I actually like this. This is pretty solid. You got to switch that 4 3 2 1, Gyu. You know, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. We could use a 4-1-2-2. Two, two. That doesn't, this doesn't really matter. I'll just do that. The rest of the team does not matter. Yeah, we'll do that. Diego Carlos will be on stay back while attacking. Perfect. So that's for the 4-1-2-2. Two, two. And then he has a shadow chemistry style. Okay, cool. Let's try him out. All done. Verona, Verona is so crazy. He gets out. I don't even know. I'm not even trying to do anything with him, but he does stuff for me. Literally best center back in the game, honestly. Yeah, so that situation there, obviously the attacker has like the head start on him. So I don't mind that uh, he passes him in that situation. Because normally you wouldn't give that much space for them to run anyways, right? That's, that's me pushing players out of position. This card is overpowered. It's disgusting. He attracts himself to the ball there. That's good. Nice. Actually goes in with a weak foot there. By the way, is four star weak foot for defender or like at the very minimum four star weak foot for defender? A very underrated thing that people don't look at a lot. It's what made uh, cards like Ruben Diaz so good back in the day. Well, still good to be fair. Oh, beautiful control ZA. Look at this card. I'm not even greening these. Yeah, it does well enough there. Yeah, so there I'm testing out like the um the L trigger shield to kind of stop his run to see if he actually like stops a little bit uh quickly there he does well he doesn't like overemphasize going forward there you know nice funny because when i overcommit my left back in that situation diego carlos actually 
commits that area really nicely to block out the uh, attacking space. That's the space I want him to have. Slow down, pick up the pace again. Block. There you go. Nice. Good tackle again. Oh, we don't get that ball there, but it was a good uh, reach animation there. Good block. Able to switch them quick there, get the block off. Nice clearance. Well done. Emmanuel interception works out well. Nice play, nice play. Well done, just have to block that general area, whether it was a pass or a shot. Psych, that's the wrong number. Nice. I like it. That was actually a wild first time pass. What the heck? Well done. Well done. Yeah, so I wanted to like overcommit so that I can give him that space to see if I can get the slide challenge off. He did well. Ligron switch. Cool. He gets a shot off. Nothing too crazy from Messi, but tries to block it. Well done again. Just he just sticks in the foot, you know, just to push the ball in another area. Wow. And Yedder is a wild card, let me tell you. <laughs> That's how when I did his review, I told you guys, like, one of the best cards I've used this year. He just dashed for it. He paused, he's like, no, no, no. What I just saw, no, no, no. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new player moments Diego Carlos card. So, to be honest with you guys... Uh, this card on a Shadow Chemistry style is actually a pretty decent center back. Uh, the main reason I think people are giving him dislikes is that, you know, because at this point in the game, people want to try to work with as perfect as possible defenders, they would have preferred to, you know, been able to give him the engine chemistry style, defense would have been perfect, pace would have been perfect, blah, blah, blah. But we always have to take into consideration the price of these cards and the value that they offer in game, okay? That's something that we always have to take into consideration. This card is 144k as of right now, because it usually gets cheaper like later on, right? Especially with the fodder that they released and people putting the fodder into these SPCs. But 144k for a card that you can give a shadow chemistry style to that gives you those Brazilian Premier League links that has a medium high work rate, good body type, good height. He's a pretty solid center back in game. Like this is definitely a WSBC, especially if you're working with certain links uh, in certain places. When it comes to the links in game, that's a sick link with Coutinho. That's really dope if you can work with that because that's just like a 4-3-3 or a 4... Yeah, 4-3-3, 4-3-2-1. That's a triple link setup just by itself. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, if you're doing that, if you guys are actually, you know, have fun with the game and you actually use different players that are good enough for the meta of FIFA. Um, yeah, let's see what else we have here. Do, do, do. You could get these guys too if you still use those bad boys. Fabinho is one of the guys that I talked about as well. Very good link up setup with him. Um, so, yeah, again, guys, with the fodder SBC that they're releasing, especially since they actually released an 85 plus times 10 today, uh, it's an SBC that's very cool to use in game. I actually really like him. Uh, center back comparisons between him and the Premier League players. Let's take a look here. 
Okay, so by default, not as good as Varane. Varane is literally... I, I would say Varane's the best center back in the game, for sure. I think that guy, that guy is an absolute monster. Um, Ruben Diaz, this card has held up really well this year. Like, this Team of the Year version of his card has held up very, very well. But... He's also not Brazilian, right? So the links that you can work with is very, very different uh, for a card that is going to be pretty good as well, right? Uh, Virgil van Dijk is on the slower side, but his physical is crazy. If, it, if he had pace, I think Virgil would probably be one of the best center backs too. It'd be, probably be him and Varane, uh, to be fair. Uh, Kyle Walker is more expensive at 325, so comparison's weird there. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Definitely better than Chris Wood. Chris Wood was just like a... Like, he was an SPC more for, like, Newcastle. Like, he was decent. It wasn't, like, a crazy card. It was a decent card. It was one of those ones, you know? Um, so, yeah, from the center back comparisons, like, uh, nobody can really compare it to Varane. They can release whatever center back they want in the future. Like, it, it's going to be very hard to match him. But, yeah, between him and Ruben Diaz, they're both very good cards. It just depends on the link setup that you want to work with. So, since the Premier League doesn't have a lot of crazy link ups to work with, in regards to you needing first owner players, it's definitely an SBC worth getting if you actually want to link him up in certain ways in your team. He's actually pretty good in game. So uh, yeah, just give him a shadow chemistry style. Listen, if you notice that you don't care about the pace too much because you like to park the bus, don't be, be honest with yourself, okay? You could give him an engine, okay? But a shadow chemistry style is where I like because I like to feel like I'm manually playing the game. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.